Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Flashing the flight controllers to the firmware of your choosing can sometimes be an infuriating matter. And there's all sorts of tools and tips that you can find. And I have had certain boards that I just didn't have any success with. And if you remember when we built this, uh, many of you had suggestions because I had troubles updating the F3 Evo that was uh, on that. And uh, very good suggestions. Unfortunately, I just didn't have any success with them. But in my quest to solve this problem, I did find a tool. Now, in my case, what I've experienced is you would plug in the flight controller. We would go into the firmware flasher. We would choose our board, maybe choose a, a, a product to update. Or maybe we'd load it online or we'd load it local. Maybe you do different baud rates. Um, you might do the no reboot sequence, the full chip erase. Sometimes you have to short the boot pins or if you've got a, a boot button on there. Other times maybe you have to do little wiggling with your USB port to get things to work. Uh, you do need to make sure you have the uh, STM32 drivers installed if you're using Windows. If you're not using Windows, this video really isn't about the Mac or alternate operating systems. But sometimes it can be infuriating. And I experienced that myself. But recently I found something that worked for me and I wanted to make sure that you have that tool for your tool belt as well. But first let's uh, revisit one of the first tools that you'll find mentioned all over the place after you follow the traditional stuff within making sure your drivers are correct or reinstalling drivers. Um, many times you'll find this referenced right here within Betaflight. Uh, if we scroll down yeah, it's mentioned right there, the ZA dig, and I have that application loaded right here. With your flight controller plugged in, we load this application, and then we go options, list all devices, and we want to make sure that it sees the CP uh, UART bridge. And then we select the driver here, whoops, I missed it, USB serial, CDC, and then we click replace driver. I suggest doing that with Chrome or anything else, any other browser really open. I would do that clean on your machine if you're having any trouble. But if that doesn't work for you, Something else that you can try is right back here, Impulse RC Driver Fixer. And I found this in an RC group thread, and the user that mentioned it is Christo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I'll link to his posting or her posting. And so make sure they you know give full credit. This isn't something that I found on my own. I had some help. And uh, you run this application. It's pretty much just one click. You tell it Windows to authorize it, and then it goes through its thing. And again, you want to do this with Betaflight, CleanFlight, Chrome, or anything else that might cause some sort of conflict closed down. And for me, this solved the problem. And in my excitement, I flashed a whole bunch of boards, so I don't have a board to show you that fails. But typically what you'd find is you'd get no response from bootloader. Um, I had another board where whenever I'd try to flash it, the COM port would actually go away. So you have to unplug the board and replug it back in, and then you get the COM port back, and you could try again. And that got a little frustrating, kind of worried you wear out the USB port on the board. Um, but this Impulse RC driver fixer seems to work pretty well. So if you're struggling like I did, I suggest you give that a try, and hopefully you have the same results I do, and you can flash any firmware you want on all your boards and all as well. As you can see, this is still searching for the flight controller, and it has several other stages it'll go through where it'll update the text on the screen to indicate what it's doing. In my case, it won't update because I've already run this, but the flashing still works for me. Um, it just seems to hang this a program once you've already run it so it's pretty much a one and done application if you have any questions or comments please leave those in the section down below and thanks for watching